Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Twice Baked Potatoes. That's right, we've taken something that was delicious, cooked just once, and cooked it a second time anyway. Why? Human nature. But nevertheless, if you're looking for a side dish for a special occasion dinner, this is very tasty, visually impressive, and really not that hard to do. So check it out. Step one, we're going to scrub and wash and dry four russet potatoes. You can obviously do as many as you want. And just like selecting a chef, short and fat is always better than long and skinny. Okay? So we have our four very stocky potatoes. We're going to put those on a baking sheet with a little bit of foil. I'm going to drizzle just a couple drops of vegetable oil on and give them a little massage. All right, you don't need too much, just enough to coat the outside. All right, once those are oiled, we're gonna go ahead and throw those in a preheated 400 degree oven for about an hour or until this happens. A parry knife will go in almost with no effort. You want these cooked all the way through, okay? You're gonna grab yourself a towel. You're gonna go around with a parry knife and cut off the top. I want you to go up about two thirds of the way. So just like you see me doing here, cut all the way around. You're gonna take that top off. You're gonna grab a spoon and you're gonna scoop out as much of the potato as you can without wrecking the outside. And because this is cooked all the way, that's not gonna be that hard to do. And you of course are also gonna scoop the potato from the top you cut off. And by the way, do not throw out that piece. We're gonna use that to make these extra visually impressive. So you're gonna scoop your still fairly hot potato into a bowl. And then we're gonna add stuff. Now please keep in mind, this video is a technique video, not a recipe. Not only do I want you not to follow my recipe exactly, I'm going to be a little bummed if you do. This is the kind of recipe that you really want to tailor to your personal taste. All right, so we're going to scoop all that out into a bowl. And while it's still hot, I'm going to throw in some chunks of butter. And that's really not a lot. I could have used more. All right, I'm also going to throw in some finely minced green onions. And I'm just going to give that a quick stir. Get that butter melting. Those green onions are going to kind of steam a little bit in that hot potato. And yes, I did switch from a spoon to a fork. Thank you for noticing. And then of course, we're gonna season it up with some freshly ground black pepper, a good amount of salt, and some cayenne pepper. At that point, I'm gonna throw in a handful of white cheddar. All right, I think that works better color-wise than yellow cheddar, but same difference. And once the cheese is mixed in, the last two ingredients here, I'm gonna make a little well. I'm gonna pour in some cream and an egg yolk. And the reason I'm doing it this way is in case the potatoes are still too hot. I don't want to scramble the egg yolk. So doing it this way, we'll mix it in a little more gradually. And again, I'll keep reminding you, all these ingredients are optional. You do this any way you want. You can use milk, buttermilk. Basically, you could just simulate your favorite mashed potato recipe. You want to go with the bacon bits or more onion or different kinds of cheeses. You'd be crazy not to experiment. And of course, you're going to taste that. If that doesn't taste good, the twice baked potatoes aren't gonna taste good. That just makes sense. So make sure you taste that, especially for salt. And once you're happy with it, we're ready to fill the potatoes. And before we do, we're gonna do one little quick trick that I invented back in 1981. We're gonna take that top we cut off and place it in the bottom. That's gonna add some extra height to this. And as anyone will tell you, people like things that are taller. That's why tall people make more money than short people. True story. And then you're going to divide your mixture among the four potatoes. And one of the things I love about this recipe, because of that extra slice of potato underneath and the extra stuff we mixed in, these are going to fill way up and it's going to look like you have more potato than you started with. Kind of a cool illusion. So anyway, divide that mixture up evenly between your potatoes. And at that point, we're going to take the tip of a fork and go around and mess up the surface. It might have got smoothed out as you were scooping the stuff into the potato, but we want as many nooks, crannies, and crevices as possible. That's what's going to give it a very, very cool look after we bake it the second time. All right, looks good. And then before they go back in the oven, we're going to paint the top with some melted butter, just a tiny bit as you can see here. And then last but not least, maybe a little bit of paprika on top for some extra color. Pop those back in the oven for about 20 minutes to a half hour until just spectacularly gorgeous. I mean, look at that. And you can see my fairly awesome looking roast pork in the background. So I'm pretty excited right now. And of course I have to taste this to make the video official after of course, touching the crusty buttery top. And then we're going in. Oh yeah, just incredible. So like I said, nothing wrong with regular baked potatoes, but this is just on a whole other level. I mean, why have a dud spud when you can have an uber tuber? By the way, you're welcome famous rappers looking for dope new rhymes. 
But anyway, if you're looking for a special occasion potato side dish for your next fancy meal, give these a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.